Hello, my name is Paul. I'm Head of Technical Solutions at MBS. And uh, I've been asked to provide a very short demonstration of the Archicad plugin functionality for MBS Chorus known as MBS Chorus Connect. The link to the MBS Chorus plugin can be found on our website uh, if you go to Platform and then Plugins, and then this link for Plugin for Graphisoft. Um, it'll take you to the Archicad Tools page. And it's available to customers with the upgrade and support access through Graphsoft Archicad. Once you're in Archicad, um, the MBS Chorus Connect uh, window and plugin is available from the Palettes menu. It's right at the base once you've installed that um, MBS Chorus Connect. And it'll appear wherever you want it to on your screen. I've got mine docked on the right hand side here. And what you'll see is uh, a view of MBS Chorus exactly as you would um, in a browser view. So you still have access to all of your project dashboard, to the projects that either you've created or you've been invited to. And that's as a result of developments within CAD platforms like Graphsoft Archicad to allow us to run MBS Chorus exactly as it would uh, in a browser like Chrome or Firefox. But it's running within the Archicad interface um, with all of that functionality available. And we've also added some additional functionality um, in partnership with Graphsoft um, to allow you to operate within the Archicad platform. So here I've got a very simple um, model uh, with some a wall type, um, a couple of doors, and a couple of window types. And what I'm going to do is to associate that with parts of my specification. So I've got a project here, um, again, a very simple specification associated with this. And what you'll see is an icon next to the specification that's been associated. If you wanted to associate a specification with your model, all you do is click on the right hand side here uh, on this three dot menu and click associate with model. And what that'll do is it'll associate the Archicad project with the relevant specification here. I've already associated uh, this specification um, for the particular door types and window types that I want to uh, look at. And depending on the amount of screen space that you've got, um, you can adjust all of these panels and so on. Um, to help you navigate uh, the information that you've got. And we've also got things like um, the prefix and the suffix uh, against some of these systems to help you to differentiate between different types that you might have within your project. So um, within here, I've got a, a couple of uh, window types that might be differentiated by performance, a couple of uh, door types in terms of their security, that type of thing. Um, and I can begin to associate the model information um, with the uh, specification information. So I'm going to move to a ground floor layout um, to uh, just show how that association works. But you can do this at, at any point of selection uh, within that project. Um, and within here, um, the benefit really of that plugin and the idea of working um, within the browser view um, in the interface of Archicad itself is the fact that we know that a lot of organizations may have technicians who are working very comfortably in the CAD environment and specifiers who may be working very comfortably in MBS, um, but that the two may not be that well connected. Um, equally, that there are some who have no experience at all of model environments, um, but say recent graduates coming through may not have much knowledge of specification practice. So what we're trying to really encourage is those two working in parallel together. So what I can do is to begin associating um, parts of the uh, model information here. So. Uh, elements like this wall and this wall type um, and uh, associate that with part of my model. So I've got a masonry wall um, item here. And you'll see that there's a three dot menu on the right hand side. Um, and I can click on that and click associate with model. What it's going to do is associate that element with this particular system within my project. So I'm going to associate this model. And it'll take me directly to that clause. So again, you can see that the benefit of being able to work within the MBS platform, have access to all of the guidance, all of the standards um, and links that our technical authors are creating all the time, um, and being able to, if you've got the right permissions, work through this clause and start to make design decisions and specification decisions in parallel. So within the contents now, we've got uh, an association that's been made. So this external masonry wall leaf system has been associated with part of our project. Um, and that's shown by this icon change. So that anything that's been associated will have a box next to it. And if the model is open within the interface uh, that this system has been associated with, that box will appear in blue. 
So I'm going to start associating a few other items. Um, so I'm going to select uh, this door. We might have a particular high security uh, need for the performance of that door type. Again, the kind of uh, information that you might expect to be in there. Uh, equally, we've got uh, window types in here. So I might have a couple of different variants of those, type A and type B. And you can change all of these prefixes and uh, suffixes, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, but I'm just going to associate these for now. So again, that three dot menu, you click associate now, and you'll see that uh, icon change. And finally, I've got another door type here. I'm going to associate that with the other door set system. Here we go. And associate that with the model. So these prefixes and suffices um, are available to edit within the clause itself. So when you've opened up the clause, uh, click on the pencil icon, and then you can change these prefixes and suff um, suffixes. And that way you've got um, the ability to have different types of the same item uh, within your project. But within our contents now, we've got a number of things associated. Um, and there's a couple of ways that we can begin to um, use these associations. And um, the first is that the file itself becomes a navigation tool so that as we begin to click on items that have an association with them um, it'll take us directly to that clause so that's a really useful way of navigating around the specification and also seeing the specification information that's related to a particular part of the archicad model but also um, we can begin to uh, annotate and uh, use these um, as labels uh, with the different properties that we've got so within the label tool, um, you can choose as part of the properties that you're using uh, to pick up particular MBS chorus properties. So once you've made that association, they're available in that list. Um, the prefix, the suffix, the code, which is the uniclass code, and the title. And those associations can be made uh, against those. So I'm going to um, choose to start labeling some of these items um, within my project. And there you can see that the properties um, are being dropped in. So uh, let's just move these slightly so that you can see them all at the same time. And I'm going to uh, do the same for the door, the same for this uh, window type, this door type, and our wall here. Let's move these around just quickly. Um, so really good set of properties that help you to differentiate um, against the models and clearly your annotations and lines and arrows and the rest can all be sorted out depending on your office preferences. Um, but it's also worth mentioning uh, a couple of other things. One is that this information is obviously um, updated in any view that you have um, where those annotations might appear um, because as information changes, um, you'll want to keep these up to date. Um, and also the... Um, information will be carried through into things like schedules. So this schedule updating based on the codes that you have available, um, you can then have the references to the specification um, front and center um, as properties within that schedule that are gonna be updated when things change. So let's um, look at this tab here, which only appears within the plugin view um, of MBS Chorus. This doesn't appear if you're using this in Firefox or Edge or Chrome, only if you've got a model associated with this. Um, you can scan across the model and see all of the uh, items within there and any that are unassociated. Um, we'll get a list of the five uh, element types that uh, have been associated uh, in here, and that list would contain any unassociated parts of your project, um, and then the associated types here. And if things do begin to change and uh, things are removed or um, deleted either from the specification or from the model, we'll also see issues or warnings. So. Um, the errors and uh, warnings will appear if things change or if things are deleted and help you to fix those changes. So let's go through a couple of those. But while I'm here, it's worth mentioning another few aspects of the Chorus uh, Connect plugin specifically in Archicad. This is the association of the specification that I've made. So that's always front and center. And if uh, there are any issues or the specification changes, that's where you can update the connection to that. You can always go to the home um, of MBS Chorus, the home page, um, as you're working through if you do get lost within your specification. 
The used clauses are the most recently used clauses that I've associated. So if there is something that appears regularly within your project, um, you've got the ability to associate that element with one of your most commonly used clauses um, and to find things there and to remove those associations as well. And this will show any uh, disassociated elements um, within the list as well. And workflow issues um, will flag up anything like where you've tried to make a connection, but the element is on a locked layer and therefore those connections can't be made. Um, so the um, workflow issues is an ARCHICAD specific um, aspect. So here, for example, um, I'm going to change the masonry wall leaf systems uh, prefix and suffix here. So I'm going to change this to 99 and I'm going to add a suffix um, to show that this is uh, an MBS clause. And um, that's now updated this item, which means that our annotations are out of date. Um, but when we scan across the model, you'll notice that there's an issue automatically being highlighted. Um, and that indicates that the parameters no longer match against that element. So I can just click on this um, chain button um, here, which will show that the link can be remade. If that was deliberate and I deliberately wanted to unlink it, I can. I can also show where that is in a larger model. Um, but clearly it's on screen for us here. And I just click on this link icon to update the properties. And you'll see on the left hand side that those properties are automatically updated for that element um, embedded within the properties of that element as well. So I hope that's been a useful quick guide to MBS Chorus Connect for GraphSoft Archicad um, and we'll continue to develop more support resources in time.